एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Are you confused about the connections of arc welding process? The positive terminal is connected to the electrode, or the negative terminal is connected to the holder. All your confusions will be clarified by the end of this video. Hello, everyone. I am Anmol Bhatia, and welcome to S Chand Academy. In today's lecture, we will be studying about the arc welding process. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. This is the first part of the video, the arc welding process, and it is the topic of the course manufacturing practices. Let us first understand what is meant by the arc welding process. It is basically a joining process in which there is a sustainable arc, and that arc is uh, suitable. to melt the work piece as well as the filler material so that a permanent joint is produced now let us see the basic apparatus which is being used in the arc welding process here in the diagram you can see that there is an ac power source which has two terminals one terminal will be connected to the electrode holder and another terminal is connected to the work piece when both the connections are there then there is a flow of electrons and because of that electron flow the arc is generated and that arc is suitable to melt the work piece as well as the electrode so here the there are connections and the connections are from this power source and what happens the arc is started by momentarily touching the electrode and the work piece so the electrode will touch the work piece and the arc will be started and then these the arc will be uh, maintained by uh, picking that electrode to the suitable distance maybe a few millimeters from the work piece and then that arc will be sustained over the process so what what happens the electrode and the work piece are in connection with each other and the current flows when they are separated with each other so coming to the connections see this connection that you are seeing on the board is direct current electrode negative combination which is called as the straight polarity in this combination you can see that the electrode is connected to the negative terminal and the work piece is connected to the positive terminal the electrons will flow from positive terminal to the negative terminal it goes into the work piece when the connection is made between the two so this kind of setup is called as the direct current electrode negative setup and this is a straight polarity combination now coming to the electron uh, transference when the electron transfers from the electrode to the work piece so what happens there is the electrode and the electrode is having a coating on the surface so i have told you that because of the flow of electrons here what happens uh, the heat is produced and because of that heat the coating generally reacts with that heat and forms the surface of slag over the base metal so there is a liquid surface which is formed and the base metal will be melted and the slag layer is produced on the surface of the base metal that flows up then ultimately this the layer of slag is removed with the help of a chipping hammer and ultimately a weld bead is produced so you can see that the arc is generated by the electrons which are liberated from cathode and it moves towards the anode and then ultimately it changes into the heat and light so about 70% of the heat is liberated due to the striking of electrons and it raises the temperature to a very high value so as i have told you that the the work piece is connected to the positive terminal and the electrode is connected to the negative terminal so here this work piece will be subjected to a very high temperature values and ultimately it will melt the base metal and the electrode surface so that an arc is produced so 
this arc will be uh, suitable to melt that base metal and the electrode and ultimately when it solidifies it it uh, gets converted into a weld bead and that weld bead is below the surface and on the upper surface there will be the formation of this slag layer so slag layer will be formed and that would be in the form of a liquid uh, state when it gets solidifies the slag layer is removed with the help of the chipping hammer that is basically a protective layer on the surface of that weld bead or the hot metal the video that you are seeing on the screen is of the flow of electrons here the electrons would be flowing from the electrode and uh, this surface of uh, the workpiece and the electrode would be heated because of that flow of electrons coming to the connections of arc welding process here we have two connections direct current electrode negative and direct current electrode positive so this connection that you are seeing on the screen is direct current electrode negative wherein the electrode is connected to the negative terminal and the workpiece is connected to the positive terminal here i have told you that the 70 percent of heat is liberated at uh, the cathode and it is generated at the particular value uh, which is there at anode so ultimately the workpiece that is connected at the anode will melt 50 percent faster when it is connected to the cathode terminal so that's why we have this uh, combination uh, which is called as direct current electrode negative which is called as the straight polarity and in general situation we keep this combination only we have another set of combination in which we have the reverse of the the case which is being elaborated uh, previously this particular thing is called as reverse polarity or you can say that direct current electrode positive in which there is a positive terminal of the power source and the electrode is connected to the positive terminal of the power source and the workpiece is connected to the negative terminal of this power source so what happens uh, the polarity is reversed that's why it is called as a reverse polarity in this type of setup both the ac uh, power source as well as a dc power source can work and ac machines are lesser expensive as compared to the dc machines but in general practice we use this dc equipments and uh, the metal transfer rate would be good in case of this dc so that uh, there would be a better arc control in this process the video that you are seeing on the screen is of the arc welding process in which you can see that the operator is touching the surface of the workpiece with the help of the electrode and ultimately the arc is being generated and when he uh, keeps a particular distance between the electrode and the workpiece you can see that the arc will flow from the upper region to the lower region and ultimately heats the surface and the joint is created so with this we come to the end of the first part of the video wherein we learnt the basic details of the arc welding process and uh, we have also seen some video presentations of the same in the next part of the video we will be learning about the variants of the arc welding process for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below if you find the video interesting like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates thank you All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.